Hello everyone, this is the full version of my presentation uh, make for the e-commerce class. Uh, my next name is Nguyen Hong Ai and my name is Nguyen Di Hang Na. Today I'm gonna make a presentation about eBay rewards. Before we turn right to the topic, I have a table of contents, include the summary in case study and answering question. So let's get started with the summary. Uh, eBay is a global online auction and trading company launched by American entry Pioneer Peer Omicar in 1995. eBay was one of the first companies to create and market an internet website to match buyers and sellers of goods and services. The company, which uh, caters to individual sellers and small businesses, is a market leader in e-commerce worldwide. Uh, eBay is a headquarter to Jan in San Jose, California. So next, we move to the eBay's campaign. The small uh, sellers who had driven eBay's early growth were encouraged to shift away from the auction format and move toward to the fixed price sale models. eBay adjusted uh, its fees in revamped its search engine to incentivize fixed price sales and rather than displaying auctions close to finishing at the top of search results eBay took its search to account for price and seller reputation so that highly rated merchants appear first and receive more exposure the hundreds of thousands of people who supported themselves by selling on eBay and many millions more who use eBay to supplement their income were unhappily with the change and analyzes faith in eBay's transition to an as its stock continue to drop. However, eBay's purchase of PayPal in 2002 had its survived these lean years with PayPal accounting for as much as 40% of eBay's revenue in some years. eBay also positioned itself well for the future with its early embrace of the mobile platform. Even before the iPhone hit the market, this presence result in eBay achieving its 100 million app downloads and 100 million mobile listing every year in 2012. So there are the innovations that eBay had. In 2018, eBay integrated progressive app features into existing mobile infrastructure and also the company continued the progress of modernizing its platform with analytical tools. Beginning in 1960, eBay began to convert its catalog itself from its traditional instructor listing format. eBay is also using machine learning to customize, update, and generally improve its product range. And also, eBay launched two interest features, uh, which allow customers to answering a quick questionnaire about their passions and hobbies, resulting in the complete complete transformation of the eBay homepage. In uh, uh, 2019, eBay launched an all-new native app for eBay Motors, built with cutting-edge technology, including artificial intelligence machine learning and flutter an open source cross uh, flat platform development platform in 2020 ebay introduced image cleanup ebay has also incorporate similar AI and machine learning techniques in other areas of business, including its shopbot, um, the personalized shopping assistant that allows customers to take stock and provide a picture of a desired item. Prospective buyer of an item can also can ask questions and other purchases uh, of the item can answer similarly to Amazon. eBay has also dramatically improved the accessibility of its website, which can now be navigated without a mouse, a mouse and is far easier to use by screen reading software used by visually impaired shoppers. And by the end of 2019, usage by third-party developers of eBay's advice had driven over $1 billion in gross merchandise purchased. eBay has cracked down on fraud of the part of both buyers and sellers, one of the most common concerns about using eBay to limit seller fraud. eBay is now authenticating items that are commonly counterfeiter, uh, such as handbag, footwear, and jewelry. Uh, sellers can pay for the authentic caution service to increase the appeal to buyers, and buyers can pay to guarantee that their purchase will be voted if the product turns out to be counterfeit. In 2015, eBay elected to spin off people as its own separate company, leaving eBay with its marketing marketplaces segment is the pub 
uh, ticket sales segment and handful of other business units. As part of the split, uh, eBay agreed to immediately root 80% of its sales to PayPal and continue to use PayPal as a back-end payment provider. And however, uh, eBay announced it in 2018 that it would end that agreement. Instead of using Dutch payments company Aiden for its back-end payment services, while PayPal will still be a payment option for eBay customers, eBay will now have far more control over the checkout process and eBay will be able to charge seller fees that are traditionally being collected by PayPal, which is expected to add to two billion dollars in revenue to eBay's bottom line. eBay's international operations are an important part of its business. In 2019, international operations delivered 60% of its $10.8 million in net revenues. eBay also invested $160 million in Paytm Mall and an e-commerce marketplace in India. Paytm Mall used eBay's buy APIs to give it $100 and 30 million dollars active user and 12 million uh, registered merchants are set to a wide selection of a global inventory. Although Amazon is the dominant force in online retails, eBay remains one of the most first trusted online brands and e-commerce leaders and it has worked had to offer services that complete with Amazon such as eBay Plus program in Germany, which for instance similar to uh, Amazon Prime. eBay also has its own version of Amazon Prime's day and a week-long sale in July of advertisements as being available to all customers without needing to sign up or for a suppression like Amazon Prime. However, in 2020, eBay faces both challenges and potential opportunities in 2019, Walmart turned over eBay to become the nation's second largest online retail by share of online retail sales. Even prior of the COVID-19 pandemic, analysts were predicting that the venue of goods sold through eBay marketplace could drop in 2020 compared to the previous year as a result of lower marketing investment increase up in some sales fees and new internet sales stock loss. However, in February 2020, eBay completed the sale of its Stop Hub Sports and Entertainment ticket marketplace for $4 million. In addition, eBay is well positioned to support the shift of small businesses to online platforms in the wake of pandemic. For instance, to in response to the pandemic, eBay launched a program providing a free eBay store for three months and waiving selling fees. Although this effort will reduce eBay's result in the short term, it believes it will pay long-term dividends. And finally, in April 2020, eBay selected Trami Yannan, previous chief operating officer for Walmart's e-commerce divisions, as its new chief executive officer, replacing Devin Wenick, who had stepped down for his position in November 2019 due to the disagreements with eBay's board of directions over sales assets. Investor hopes that Yanon will bring innovation and new ideas to eBay as he takes the lead through what is likely to be a tumultuous period. So secondly, we will move to the case study questions. <clears throat> Question number one, uh, contrast eBay's original business model with its current business model. So the answer is eBay's original business models focus on what's on functions. eBay's current business model is more focused on the fixed price goods. Its revenue were dependent on millions of small smellers. Then it converted into a more professional uh, seller's environment where small retailers would buy good and then flipped it on eBay for a profit. Then in 2009, eBay's revenues fleets in Amazon retail model become popular. The current business model is like Amazon's depend on a professional retailers and large online store to sell products at fixed prices. Question number two, what are the problems uh, that eBay is currently facing? How is eBay trying to solve this problem? The main problem is driving revenue growth. eBay's revenue growth had ceased Ideally, because the small retail eBay users could, couldn't create a volume of sales eBay needed. Because of this, eBay moved to a large scale and professional large volume retailers. 
eBay has had to overhaul its identifying it as an auction site and create one of an online retailer like Amazon. Question number three, are the solutions eBay is seeking to implement good solutions? Why, why, or why not? Are there any other solutions that eBay should consider? eBay must meet competition for Amazon and Walmart. They have restricted their catalog to be more formatted enabling them to analyze the data and option side into the trends and profile consumers with the help of self-predict. eBay inside the rise of the mobile platform has proven to be beneficial, beneficial to the company. They are leading the way with mobile technologies like parametric touch identification support and virtual reality of seats for tickets, so on stop up. And the last question is, who are the eBay's top competitors online and how will eBay's strategy help it compete? eBay's top model competitors are Amazon, Walmart, and Alibaba. eBay's mobile equipment has kept them in the game while it tries to establish itself again. eBay is a trusted and well-known brand name, a bonus for the company while it's regaining is position in the e-commerce world. So that's the end of my presentation. If you have any questions, leave the comments below so I can answer you. Thank you so much.